Hello, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about Ascension, specifically Twin Flame Ascension, helping you with symptoms, healing, and everything that goes with it. Welcome. So how is your day going? In this video, I want to talk to you about men in Ascension. And not just men, not men is like a group but this is going to really hit close to home. This is going to be men that you care about, your brothers, your cousins, your children, your older children, your tweeny children. Those are like young ones that are just starting to hit puberty. People around you could be bosses, colleagues, coworkers, neighbors. There is a thing that is happening and it is ascension. It's getting confusing for people to tell and be able to distinguish what symptom means what. How I, however, that is my specialty. In fact, I've been documenting this for about 15 years. So I'm well aware of what it is in terms of a subset of symptoms when people call it ascension flu. That's what we've called it for years, just sort of this subset of things that feel like flu, but actually are related to the metaphysical side of you gearing up here to do something really big and clear itself versus being sick. Now, this may be a new concept to people to um, have a light body and still feel sick. And kind of some of the disparities that if you have this side of you, shouldn't it automatically make you healthy and healed and whole? Well, yes, that is the general direction. However, people still get sick. And I, for one, have had firsthand experience with what does it feel like to be sick in your light body? I've written about it for years and how to integrate so that you minimize feeling sick and you maximize feeling well. So I'm going to talk to you specifically about men and males in ascension. So by this, I do mean male bodied born people who have their male body because there are connections in places that are specific for the masculine. So I have to be specific about that, not to slight anyone, not to malign anyone, just to be specific so that you know what I'm referring to. The first thing I'm going to talk about is in the private part area. Now this is a part that encompasses several areas that are very important. It's your stability. It's part of your guidance. It's the root chakra, the sacral. It is your heart connection. However, many men, not every man, but many men as an individual will be pulling away from the soul group that they originated from. So this can include sensations, feelings, things that we call symptoms, but sometimes can just feel like a feeling through your body. It can be reminiscent of something. You can experience if you're a man, or this could happen to your child, it can happen to your grown child, it can happen to your brothers, your cousins, colleagues around. You may feel ED, that stands for erectile dysfunction. Things aren't functioning properly. For some men, it is a sudden onset of that. It can be alarming when it's a sudden onset. Now, where, while there can be other causes for that, such as drug use, alcohol use, excessive um, stress, grief, sometimes it just can happen to the healthiest person and that's when it is ascension related. Now that in and of itself doesn't automatically say, well, that's ascension related and therefore you ignore it. No, I always encourage people, please get the best medical care that your budget and your community can provide for you. Do your due diligence, check, make sure. Make sure it's not something else. Make sure it's not your blood pressure. Other things that you can experience, pains down in that area. Now, I myself, as you can see, I'm not in a male body. I went through a patch of time where I was releasing my past lives as a male. And I had all kinds of sensations down there. Everything from being circumcised 
to being cut to being hacked with a battle axe and let me tell you that lasted for an entire week are you experiencing pains are you experiencing cramps that you may be confusing for your um, stomach or your colon cramps are you checking parts of you maybe not realizing that this could be related to other things inclusive of your ascension other ways that these things show up now there is a correlation between men and women where women have a condition that is sometimes a fibrous condition um, there are tissues that get very kind of hardened and fibrous it's like having scar tissue on the inside okay it's not comfortable it uh, it makes the tissue sluggish they get congested with fluids and then you know it's hard to expel these waste products from the body and the result is cramps and pain now men have an equivalent they have uh something that is a bent penis uh that is caused by fibrous tissue where it makes it lean one way or another sometimes called bent carrot okay but the bottom line is it can be painful for some men it can lead to painful intimate relationships embarrassing relationships and this is sometimes part of the pull these are not easy things to talk about but they are necessary to talk about because why because you're intended to not go downwards with it. You're intended to have your ascension trajectory and get integrated with your light body for preventative and well being measures, in addition to feeling healing and love. Um, issues with the testicles, pains, cramps, feeling like you're pressed. If you have uh, possibly a cyst on there, now. I do know someone who went and had an ultrasound to make sure. They wanted to make sure there was no torsion, no twists in the internal structures, no hernia. Okay, like these are things people sometimes need a reminder of. Is the pain caused by a hernia? Go check it out, okay? Is the discomfort something else? Is it the equivalent, the male equivalent of menstrual cramps? Now that's been debatable for years, but I'm gonna tell you, it's a real thing for people that experience it. For men that experience it, they have not had the years that females have had since their early teens of understanding this is happening once a month. This is what it feels like. That's what people go through. You're beginning to, but it is not always a stomach ache or the need to um, use the bathroom. It's something else and it's cramps. That's how it feels. You could possibly compare it to being kicked in the private parts. It gives you that terrible feeling down there. Now imagine that feeling lasting for a week or days or something, okay? I'm here to help people alleviate this discomfort and painful situations and help you narrow down what it is you can do, what it is, and how to alleviate it through my modality, which I call the Twin Flame Body Modality. Other ways that you would know, urinary tract and bladder infections and inflammations. Some ways that you know this is, this might sound gross, but when you go to the bathroom, you know, how does it look in the toilet? Is it cloudy? Is it uh, foamy? Okay. Do you feel like little twingy, pinchy feelings as you're doing that? Do you have a continual need to urinate and yet it doesn't always come you feel like an urge to do it to go to the bathroom okay and again you have organs that females don't you have a prostate it can sometimes you know go through some things there's a correlation there and the bottom line is you're intended to get healthier but you cannot ignore the pains of the past kidney trouble so kidney trouble that can run a range. It can run a gamut of actual things that run in your family, such as kidney disease, um, improper function, to just having a small inflammation where it's sort of a pain in your back. And you know what? Work can make you feel like that. You can have a feeling of like, this work is killing me, but what you actually have is a pain on this part of your back. And that's where I'm saying it's important to know 
about these symptoms so that you can narrow it down and really feel um, you know, some guidance through me and my modality of what you can do, how you should do it, how to alleviate it, and how to up-level. Because it's time. It's time. But here's the thing. It's time to feel better, isn't it? It's time to not you know, get accustomed to like a whole brand new set of pains. A lot of men are having a lot of um, colds right now. It's been almost everyone around me. They've had that weird little sniffle, eye issues, eye, ears, nose, throat. It feels like it's here. It feels like it's at the back of the sinus, the post-nasal drip area. The eyes don't feel right. The ears don't feel right. Parts inside your head can feel very puffy, swollen, and it seems like you don't have any way to alleviate it. Is it COVID? Not necessarily. Okay. I've had COVID. I know the difference. I've had ascension symptoms and I know the difference. I'm a person who is here to help you with my specialty modality to help you get where you need to be. Alleviation, healing, preventative, and maintaining a much higher level. Thank you so much for watching. Please look at the links below if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one session or join my group that I am doing. I have a group class right now called Open Your Chakras and let's start at the beginning because we're going to get the upper areas moving so that these things can not only be alleviated but can feel good. Thank you so much. Bye now.